I get so nervous. So how to get an A to <laughs> back to the video. Hello everybody, my name is Joanne and today I'm going to be telling you guys how to get an A in microbiology. So um I'm gonna be giving you guys tips on how to get an A and also I'm going to um insert clips on um, specifying more about what I mean when I like list advice so I also got an A in physiology and I took both classes at the same time I took microbiology on Monday and Wednesday and I took physiology on Saturdays so stay tuned for that video the first thing okay so the first thing you guys need to do is to attend class <laughs> attend lecture attend lab do not miss class because like it's better like just do not miss class because during lecture what my teacher would do <laughs> I also forgot to tell you guys that if I'm looking down I'm like looking at a list of it by list of notes that I wrote myself so that's that's what I'm looking at when I'm looking down during lecture guys like my teacher would give hints on what's gonna be on the test and like everything she said that was gonna be on the test was actually on the test like for example the stuff in yellow is the stuff that would be on the test like if your teacher has practice tests I would definitely say to use that if your teacher has study guide use those questions from her back practice test would show up on her exams but she didn't like use like every question and she would like make her own questions that were very similar to the practice test but at the end of the day you still needed to know your information the main reason why I would say to go to lab is because the lab has like the whole okay microbiology is centered on this project called the unknown project and the unknown project is where you have to use the techniques and the labs that you have learned to figure out an unidentified bacteria so if you don't go to lab you're not going to know how to do um, any of the experiments in the unknown the unknown project like in my class was like the last two to three weeks of class so if you miss a day like it's hard to catch up because you would have to like do like three or four experiments in a day instead of like two and then you have to like just do a lot of work and no some professors are very very strict and they may not even allow you to talk during the unknown project like my professor like she started off strict and then she kind of like fell off with her strictness but um, some professors are very very strict they want to make sure that the known unknown project is a hundred percent you so they won't let you talk to anybody or anything <laughs> anybody or anything but, so they won't let you talk to anybody because they want to make sure that what you're doing is actually your work they want to see if we did like 30 40 experiments or whatever that you actually know how to use them ask questions ask questions on the spot usually half of the time students ask questions like everybody's thinking the same thing teachers will be actually more receptive to you and they will be more likely to give you help i even had to like talk to my professor during um appointment hours or whatever they call it about my unknown and i actually figured out that i like mislabeled some of my results because I talked to her like two days before the unknown was officially due like I changed what my unknown bacteria was and I ended up getting it correct so I had number 37 and my guess after all that I not my guess my educated guess after I did everything was that I had enterobacter erogenous and that ended up being correct. So this is day one and on day one we looked at our bacteria under the microscope and we determined whether our bacteria was gram negative or gram positive. I think it was like more of a pink and so that was gram negative and then I recorded the shape which was bacilli and 
uh, I said it was clusters, but it's more like chain little notes right here. Like if it's gram positive bacilli, do endo endospore stain, and then if there's no reaction, you need to do the acid fast. Day two, so gram negative, which is me right here, which is the one that I got. I had to um, do an EMB agar and McConkey agar plate. And so this is the results that I wrote. I was kind of moving fast, so it's probably, I think it's right. And then, I mean, I was just like labeling what I thought I saw. And then, you know, I'm just like, I was rushing and writing different notes because um, it was moving really fast. So I was just like recording stuff here. On day three, after we inoculated these on day two, we see the results on day three. And then I'm just recording like what? my results are. For the next day we did all of these tests and then we recorded our results on day four. This is the last page um, where I'm recording the growth. This is why it's important to show up to labs so you can know like how your thing looks. Because there's micro arrow files, there's obligate, anaerobe, obligate, aerobe. After I looked at my results, this was the breakdown. And I realized that I have two of the same thing. I had no idea if it was erogenous or E. Close, close C or whatever. So I spoke to my professor. My professor said that the main differentiating test for this would be the decarboxylase lysine. So she said negative is erogenous and positive is Chloe C and that's all she told me so you know do the thinking and then I was like oh okay I know what I have. The unknown project can be difficult to solve because you have two bacteria that are the exact same so sometimes talking to the teacher to help you simplify the bacteria can be the difference between two completely different bacteria like in my situation and then here is the lab report so here is the instructions or the like kind of guidelines the teacher wants you to write your report based on so, so you see right here she wants an abstract introduction material methods she wants you to insert a chart and these were like my results she wants a discussion results and then also misidentification of a known like if you think it's wrong or if you think you know you could confirm your unknown project with um, a test that wasn't used in our class you could explain it here and you can get a 90 percent if you get in my class, if you get the unknown wrong, you can get anywhere between a 75 and 85. And if you get it right, you can get a 95 to 100. If you get it wrong and you explain it well, you can get a 90. The last piece of advice I would say is to study, which is very simple, but like you will not get an A in microbio if you don't study, period. Like, for real. Microbiology moves fast, even though it's a semester long, like the teacher needs to still accelerate so she can finish everything in time. The best method I would say is to spend two and a half hours after class on Monday, Wednesday, or whenever you have it. Like if you have it twice a week like I did, I'd say to spend two and a half hours because it's a five unit course. An example of a page that, you know, I would take notes on, right? So I'm going to show you guys how I studied for the class. Usually what I did was I would take a paper, right, and then I would usually like separate like half the page. So I would separate this and then I would memorize it, right, and then after that, after I fold the, folded the paper in half, I would like write everything I remembered, right? And then what I would do is that I would remember would cover this part, the first half, and then I would remember the rest and then write it down. And I would do that for every page, usually after class. So um, that like took time, but at the end of the day, I learned everything and I didn't have to clutch. For classes like this, 
it is a lot of extra time that you have to put in outside of the class to get the result that you you want thank you for watching <laughs> thank you for watching my video make sure to subscribe like comment and uh also follow me on instagram y'all follow me on instagram follow me on instagram i'll see you guys for the next video thanks for watching <laughs>